used to study five hours regularly. Okay. The most important book is yes, like geometrics uh, through self-study uh, cracking it is uh, possible. Hello, Raghuram. Congratulations to your uh, on your remarkable achievement in the GATE 2024 Geomatics Engineering paper. Can you introduce yourself, please? Uh, thank you, sir. And thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my name is Himikesh Chagram. Uh, I am from Vishakhapatnam. I have done my BTEC in uh, Geoinformatics from Andhra University College of Engineering. And I have secured All India Rank 2 uh, in this year GATE. Uh, in geometrics uh yes sir, that's about great 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 all india rank 2 you know it's a it's a dream uh, for everyone who is preparing for gate examination not for gate for any exam the single digit rank is a dream you know and uh, amazing so once again congratulations and is it your second attempt or uh, first attempt uh this is my second attempt sir actually i have given my uh, first attempt in 2022 like okay. the uh, it is the year that I have passed out, like mm -hmm. uh, my uh, in my B -tech, like my B -tech. Uh, and this is my second attempt. In my first attempt, I have secured uh, a tenth rank. Amazing. In, in first attempt, you secured ten rank. Wow, it's tenth. Amazing. Yes, so, Abram, you are from civil engineering branch, right? Uh, no, sir. I'm from geoinformatics itself. Geoinformatics. I have done my B -tech. Yes. So, uh, can you tell us if a gate is the only option just after BTEC, especially in geoinformatics engineering, or are there more uh, opportunities after BTEC in this field? Uh, sir, like uh, in 2022 itself, uh, this gate uh, paper has been introduced. So, uh, I have attempted it in 2022, and that is the first year. Uh, but we have we also have some other opportunities as well, like uh, uh, like. Going, like we also have some opportunities for like MS uh, in abroad and uh, we can like also go into software field like many other branches as well. Okay. And uh, to pursue some masters uh, in India in IITs, a uh, gate is the best opportunity available. Okay. So why did you choose gate for your career and why, when did you decide to start your preparation for the gate 2023? Uh, not uh, 20, sir, you actually, played last year also, no? that's why. Yes, sir. I have attempted in 2022, sir, first attempt. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. So, like, uh, when I'm in my final year, like, this announcement has come that uh, paper in geometrics is being introduced. So, then uh, I have started in uh, October uh, 2020, uh, 2021, and I have been preparing for the uh, four months till 2022. Feb. Uh, like then I found uh, this gate uh, paper as a better opportunity so that I can get into some IITs for my MTech course. So I have attempted in 2022. This is the main reason. Okay. So did you have a thought in your mind before the gate exam? Like you would crack the gate like this in 23, all India rank 10 and in 24, all India rank second. So have you thought about uh, uh, No, sir. In 2022, I had no idea that I'll crack uh, with the rank 10. But this year, after my after uh, seeing my response sheet and all, I had an idea that I will be in top 10 this time. Wow, amazing. So are you planning to prepare for more exams like CAT, UPSC, etc. after cracking this exam? Uh, sir, from 2022, after this gate, after getting into MTech, I, start, I started preparing for some competitive exams like SSC parallelly. Okay. Uh, and... And I have uh, cleared SSC CGL in like 2022. So I have cleared in 2023. Uh, it is a 2022 cycle. And I got a uh, job in postal department. Wow. And currently I'm in, I'm on extension, sir. Great, so, great, great. Wow. Amazing. So you cracked the CGL also. Great. Yes. So uh, congratulations for that exam too. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, so let's talk about the GATE Geomatics Engineering Paper 2024. If we compare both years' paper as you attempted in last year and this year's paper, so what was the difficulty level of GATE 2023 and 2024? Uh, sir, actually it's 2022 and 2024. I have skipped 2023 attempt actually. Okay, okay, sorry for that. Okay. 
ஒர்க்கும் <laughs> yes uh like mock tests like uh, they play a very key role because like to assess our uh, preparation level or else like uh, to boost our confidence also test series play a key role uh and they will also uh, tell the mistakes that we are uh, making in uh, in the actual exam so that we can rectify them and come over them so uh, i have opted for find my test like uh, this year uh, while attempting gate and i have uh, took the uh, complete uh, uh, full length uh, mock test as well as sectional test as well and they were really like uh, helpful for me the sectional tests were also like uh, uh, to know the level uh, to which i have prepared like each section to assess that uh, the sectional tests were also uh, very helpful sir. okay thank you so much for that for your honest review Uh, which books did you follow for gate preparation please name some very important must read books for gate okay like primarily i will say the most important book is like uh, manoj k arora uh, like and bajatia professors they are the professors from iit roorkee they have uh, uh, like authored a book called geomatics engineering and that book is very helpful for uh, this gate paper because it almost covers the uh, part a and the section one of part b that is the photogrammetry part uh, so this is the must read book because uh, uh, this book contains almost most of the topics in the gate syllabus and uh, this is very helpful for me and coming to the remote sensing and gis part we can refer to uh, george c joseph remote sensing textbook as well okay so uh, my next question is many students want to prepare for gate by self study only what do you want to suggest to them uh, yes like geometrics uh, through self study uh, cracking gate is uh, possible uh, actually like uh, when we clear our basics uh, through these textbooks and uh, some youtube and ptl uh, courses as well like uh, many nptel videos are available for geometrics for all the uh, topics uh, when we go through all of them like it will be mostly sufficient for all the things but for only for uh, engineering mathematics i didn't find any proper source and that is the only difficult part and uh, even for that there are some youtube sources available like other than nptel uh, so you we can go through that and we can finish up the syllabus uh, through st- self study itself great what are some important topics that gate aspirant should especially focus on to crack the gate examination gate geometrics examination like you if anybody wanna uh, achieves double digit or single digit rank like you then what are the yes. some important topics for them uh i can say like like we should be thorough with uh, all the topics from uh, uh, remote sensing and gis part in the part a uh so that it will be easy uh coming to i have attempted section 1 of part b uh so in that if we all uh, if we are thorough with all the formulas mainly in the photogrammetry and uh, mapping and survey like you are good to go and attempt most of the questions most of the numericals and even the theoretical questions they are only basics asked so we can also uh, attempt them as well great there are so many students who just wanna qualify the paper not crack so uh, what are the topics and what are what are those topics which can help all those students who just wanna qualify the gate paper can you share uh, those topics name uh, yes sir. like just to qualify this uh, topic like i would say some easy topics are like uh, if we go through the gis like the geographic information system Yeah. Uh, the topic is comparatively on easier side and uh, and also like 
remote sensing like if you are a good with the basics you can attempt most of the questions in the uh, in remote sensing and gis the weightage is also high so uh, you can cover like uh, almost uh, uh, 25 marks easily uh, if you cover these two topics and if you are good in the aptitude section uh, like the 15 marks you can easily qualify like uh, with these three great i, I can say that did you follow any schedule or rules for yoga, exercises, sleep, and food during this journey of a gate examination preparation? Uh, yes, sir. Like while attempting this time, like 2024, I started very late, like in December. And uh, that too, not with the full uh, focus because I'm currently pursuing my tech. So mm -hmm. I didn't get time. Uh, so I didn't get time to... Uh, maintain good lifestyle also actually like uh, didn't maintain proper sleep cycle and all mm -hmm. uh, so but I, I made a schedule that after my uh, lab working hours and all like I used to dedicate uh, some four hours in the evening and uh, like one hour in the morning as well so I used to study five hours regularly and I used to revise all the topics in the last one month uh, for my 2022 attempt uh, like that is the first attempt. So I used to make a target for one week. Like I, I tried to complete one topic in one week. Then in eight weeks, I was able to complete eight topics. And then I started revising them and attempting the mocks. So that uh, in the one month, I was able to revise it uh, nearly two times. Great. So that was uh, that made my preparation easier. Great schedule. So, uh, did you make any changes in the regular study timetable before one month and one week of the exam? Uh, yes, sir. Like, uh, in 2022, yes, sir. Like, uh, for, for the uh, last one month, I, I dedicated uh, uh, more hours, like, uh, for the revision and uh, also attempting these mocks and reviewing the mocks. Uh, like, I, uh, I tried to maintain some... Uh, I, I tried to give some six to seven hours daily in the last month along with my VTEC uh, curriculum then. Uh, and that was six, in the last week as well, I gave the same amount of time. Like I didn't take much pressure in the last one week. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing a revision word uh, from your side so many times. So let's talk about the revision. Revision plays a big role yes. in any exam. So, uh, yes. what was your revision strategy for whole year? Can you please share your, your uh, revision strategy? Uh, yes, sure. Like, uh, for revision, mostly what we need is, we need to make some short notes. Like, for each and every topic, we need to have our own short notes. So that it will be easy to cover in one, one two, two, day, two days. And I also made a, a formula sheet because formulas are uh, going to give you lots of like lots of uh, marks because uh, there are uh, there is good uh, weightage given to the numerical problems numerical questions. So when we have this formula sheet, like uh, like there are a few formulas only in uh, uh, geometrics. So uh, coming to the uh, section two section one in part B, we have many formulas like uh, for surveying for photogrammetry and then for maps when we have all the formulas in one to two papers it is easy for revision then i used to revise it multiple times like only the formulas particularly and uh, and the short notes for all the uh, theoretical part which i have studied and uh, in the last week when we revise it two to three times like it will boost our confidence and we are very sure when we are marking the options in the exam that's great Many students are unable to perform well in the exam hall, even though they have secured good marks in mock test at home. How can they overcome their fear in the exam hall? Uh, like when we are uh, attempting mocks, like uh, we shouldn't really care about the marks we are getting. We should really uh, go through the mistakes, like what we are making in them, and try to rectify them. Uh, mostly we will be uh, making the, uh, like we will be repeating our mistakes when we see all our mocks. So when we are repeating, then we should stop at attempting the mocks and we should again go back like to the topic where we are uh, lagging behind and we should try to revise it like one to two times or else we should try to uh, go through some videos or else some materials 
and brush up our basics in that particular topic and start with. But we should never consider uh, the mark, marks we are getting in the mocks as the final marks and we should never get demotivated. Yeah. This is the main thing. Because sometimes we can also uh, perform well in the final exam. Yeah. So what was your strategy for attempting questions in the, in the exam hall? The real exam? Uh, yes. Like, uh, my strength was aptitude. So uh, I I try to give as much as time uh, that it takes, like the aptitude section takes. I don't try to hurry in that section. And uh, in my real exam also, like I gave 30 minutes uh, to the aptitude section, 30 to 40 minutes. And uh, after that, uh, I go um, like, uh, uh, like I, I, I went to the part one, part A, uh, and I solved two marks first. Uh, not uh, going to the one marks. Then after solving all the two marks, like uh, I left what all I don't know or I'm not sure with. But uh, the the questions which or whichever I know, I marked them uh, in the first round and then I went to the one marks. Then uh, I followed the same strategy and then I, I came back again for the second round. Then I marked the questions with uh, like which I am uh, not sure. Like Then I marked all those. And finally, uh, I try to mark the questions which I'm uh, not at all aware of. Then if at all they are numericals or the MSQs, I try to, uh, like, I will just uh, try and use my knowledge which I have with other topics and I try to guess the answers for numericals and MSQs. That's and I leave those MCQs which I'm not aware of. Yeah, that, that, that's a great strategy uh, you followed. So aspirant should also follow the strategy shared by you in the exam hall yes. and I would like to uh, tell to the audience like uh, findmytest.com provides online mock test series for gate geometrics and various papers and if you have any query regarding gate preparation then you can ask from our experts on whatsapp and the gate guidance is totally free of cost on whatsapp uh, 9509393058 thank you so much for sharing amazing tips to crack the gate geometrics engineering paper raguram now i would like to request you to give some suggestions for all those aspirants who are preparing for gate 2025 and 2026 okay sir. uh firstly when uh, they complete all the syllabus i ask them like i uh, i tell them to uh, go through the all the previous papers first and check their level uh, if they are uh, like if they are comfortable in solving all the questions like previous year questions they are good to go but the previous question should be solved first like oh, currently we have three uh, years of uh, previous year papers and one model paper which is available with us they should be thorough with all the models in these four papers i tell this to all the students Thank you. Thank you so much for giving your valuable time, Raghuram. And once again, congratulations for achieving two times a great rank, which is not very easy to achieve. So thank you so much for your time and congratulations to your whole family too, who supports you. Yeah. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for giving me this opportunity to share my experiences. Thank you. It's, it's my honor.